I must tell you about the marvellous mashed potato moment. Uh, it's one of those moments in your life where if only somebody was there with a the camera, it would even now be viral. Um, so I, I decided I was going to have bangers and mash for tea. <laughs> so I've got the bangers on the plate. I put the plate on the hob next to the pan full of mashed potato, which I've carefully mashed with a masher. Right? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I'm labelling out the uh, mashed potato onto the plate, which is on the hob. The hob's one of those kind of things with a big, enormous metal arrangement to keep the pan away from the flame. And there's, it's not laid into the worktop, so it's about two inches above the worktop. And as I'm ladling, the plate begins to slip off the hob, and it's going towards the edge of the worktop, and it's going to it's going to hit the deck. No. So I dropped, I dropped this spoon full of mashed, the last the spoon full of mashed potato, and it hit the pan. Did a kind of a somersault, and the match goes. <laughs> right, okay. But, but meanwhile, the plate's still slipping towards the floor. So I made a lunch for the plate. I tipped the plate, and the mash goes on the floor. Right. <laughs> With the bangers. Right? <laughs> But my attention's still on the plate, and the plate's spinning. I make a lunge for the plate, stepping the mashed potato. <laughs> Basically, I throw the plate at the wall and smash it. <laughs> so that's my tea fucked. <laughs> so I've got mashed potato all over my boots, and I've got to take my boots off, and yada yada yada. Clean up the mashed potato. And, uh, Still no tea, so I went to the fridge to see what there might be. <laughs> Six cans of Guinea. <laughs> <laughs> My days are long and leaving. I work for a little pay.
some Guinness in Always keep some Guinness in free.